Well, it's Monday, uh, September 16, and this just came in. This is a 1975 Electric Start Norton. It's been through several hands uh, over the last couple of years trying to put it together, and uh, it's finally come to rest here. Kevin and I are probably going to start working on it tomorrow. Let's just uh, take a walk around and take a and uh, record a few uh, first impressions. First of all, this is the gas tank over here and one of the side covers. And um, what do I have? I remember these are something. What are these? Oh, flashers, new, uh, new turn signals. So at least uh, three of them, that's nice. Okay, over here we have the bike. Let's talk right around this area. Uh, first of all, both, both uh, I don't think that works at all. It has a little feel to it, uh, nothing here. We uh, will juice them up and see what happens, okay, before we decide to rebuild them or re replace the um, master cylinders. We'll juice them up and see what happens. Uh, up here we have an interesting, um, somebody's been, had, been, been working up here. There is a boyer hanging here, uh, but the um, step-down resistors up here are still in the circuit, so if they didn't have ignition, that, that might be the problem. Uh, they've got an extra blue capacitor up here doing oh that's where the that's not a blue capacitor that's supposed to be where the um uh, charge indicator unit i can't remember the name goes here not this guy so we'll get one of those so that the charge light up here will work um let's see carburetors are said to have been rebuilt several years ago we'll take them apart and clean them that's a nice clamp on the fuel line I think I'll keep that. Uh, the starter is uh, from um, Colorado Norton Works, one of the new beefed up heavy duty spin that motor uh, starters, so that's nice. Um, we'll see how these, what condition all this is in. May replace these with stainless steel. Uh, I don't like the way this is running. Let's see, um, turn signal stalks are up here. Over here, uh, this is cute, a, a ground wire going from the head to the frame. That's always a nice idea, but nasty. This is another ground wire going from the frame, probably up here somewhere. Neither of which is needed. We will run a nice ground wire to that bolt from the, from the battery and the battery ground, and everything will be wonderful. It has the old style, um, the old style rectifier here. <laughs> well, Mr. say. Does your delivery get here? Say hello to about eighteen hundred people. Hello, everybody. <laughs> My good buddy Roger. Yep. And this Mr. is the, yeah, this is the real place where the uh, blue kit capacitor goes. He's got a nice airbox here. He took the stock airbox out, which is one of the first things that happens with these bikes. And they have a nice seven hundred and fifty style exhaust system on, on it, including a nice set of pea shooters. So they got rid of those nasty looking nineteen seventy five mufflers which according to everybody in the world were the most efficient and best mufflers ever put on a norton and i know because the guy who designed them came to one of our rallies and explained to us that they were one of the, were one of the best and most efficient mufflers ever designed for a norton and we all agreed that he's probably right but somebody asked him why didn't you take the ugly out so um everybody changes those out on the on the electric electric starts let's see what else to talk about uh we will Rebuild the, tr the, the tail light, dump all the oils out and change them. Over here, I've got a whole bunch of little bits. We are probably not going to need most of these because I have a whole bunch of new sets right across the way. That's kind of nice. This is another Boyer. One's on the bike, and here's another one. Uh, bits and pieces. They've replaced all the case bolts with um, hex bolts. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Carb. Everything from here over is not going to be needed. We don't need the old starter. We don't need these plates because they've already been replaced. They're just looking really good down here. So let's see what else is over here we won't need. Uh, probably change out these mirrors because this one is really occluded. You can't hardly see it. I cleaned it and that's what it looks like. The horn won't go back on the bike because I'll put on a smaller horn on the front of the frame where it can actually be heard. This is old, probably replaced. 
And this is a main wiring harness with a fuse in it from something. We'll find out what that is. So that's the, this is the start of this new project. And um, we'll probably, um, Kevin and I will probably roll this out into the driveway tomorrow, spray the heck out of it with S100 and then rinse it off, bring it back in and start going through the audit and see what we can see. So it's going to be an interesting project. So that's it for the day. All right, just uh, one last thing uh, I'm, before I call it a day and go post this. This is where the assimilator goes. The assimilator is what lights the charge light up on the dashboard, telling you that your alternator is charging properly. So that's the blue, it does not take a blue capacitor there. And other than that, um, Kevin and I are going to start this thing. I'll, I'll bet you a buck. Let's see, what is today? Monday? Uh, before the week's out, we'll have it running at least. Ah, oh, goodness willing, and if the creek don't rise, we might have it making noise reasonably quickly. Okay, later on.